Hello guys, in today's lecture we're going to discuss how to find the density of stars but before that please make sure to subscribe and uh, like this channel and show your support by liking and sharing this video also. Now coming to our topic uh, to basically find the density of stars. For this experiment we're going to uh, need the apparatus a weighing balance, a graduated cylinder and a spatula. Uh, so basically density, density is the ratio of mass to unit. And its formula, as you can see, is density is equal to mass per volume. And its procedure is really simple, really easy. We have discussed the density uh, lectures before, uh, uh, experiments before. You So you can check out those. But uh, here I'll, I'll also explain because this is a really short topic. Uh, so basically, uh, we take, a, of course, a dry and clean apparatus. And we're going to weigh 25 gram of stars. So we already know the mass. Uh, so we got one part for the density and uh, we're going to put it into a measuring cylinder so we can find the volume. So uh, we put it into a graduated cylinder. A uh, graduated cylinder is basically a cylinder in, uh, which has markings to find um, the volume markings. And so uh, we put it in there. We note the volume marking like uh, how much the starch came up to 25 gram. And so we got the volume also then. And we so we already have mass and volume, so we put them into the formula of density, which is and density is equal to mass over volume, and we get the density. Now, as you can uh, observe from our calculations here, so the mass of the given sample is twenty five gram, and when uh, I experimented it, when I put the uh, twenty five gram of starch into the um, graduated cylinder, the volume came out to be fifty ml. So if I'm going to find the density of the starch, I put a mass divided by volume. So basically 25 or 50 and it turned out to be 0.2 gram per milliliter. So that is basically the density of starch. Really easy, really short experiment. Done it in two minutes. So now we're coming to the other form of density, basically bulk and tan density. So in this experiment is basically for this experiment, the apparatus you're going to need is a weighing balance a graduated cylinder and spatula and for this procedure basically you're gonna weigh first 25 gram of starch transfer it measuring to a measuring cylinder and find the volume and you get density um, over uh, so the density that we normally find is basically bulk density in general we refer it to as uh, density but if you're going into detail the density that we uh, generally calculate is uh, basically bulk density and it's the ratio of mass over bulk volume uh, the volume in which we did not like shake shake the substance so that they can be closer together there can be less spaces we just transferred it directly so that is basically bulk like so that's why that uh, substance it looks bigger more spread over and looks like it has more density so that is bulk density so uh, now for the tap density, what we do is basically we take that substance in the graduated cylinder and we tap it 200 times. Now you may think that's long, but it just really takes one to two minutes. And yeah, so you have to tap it 200 times. And uh, if there is still uh, powder on the walls of the cylinder, you have to uh, scrap it and put it again on the layer of the powder again so that we can get the maximum and density out of it and uh, again you repeat the procedure by doing 200 more taps so you get 400 total taps but if it still does now you can do it instead 400 taps it's gonna basically take two more minutes again so after the second taps you do a third tap also and um, after the third tap, if you see no difference, if the difference is uh, more than 2%, you again keep tapping in four or five times again. And uh, for the fifth and fifth and fourth and fifth times, but if you do not see difference of 2%, if you see a difference of less than 2%, that's fine. That's the maximum you could do when it's the perfect tap density that we can get. So basically, tab, so the formula for finding tab density is basically mass over tapped volume. So by tapping, we were trying to get a tape, uh, tapped volume in which basically the air spaces are reduced, the powder is more close together, the empty spaces between them, they are no more, so they can occupy the volume. 
and the powder takes up the maximum volume so that's basically how we find that depth density now we're gonna do this with an uh, experiment now the sample that we're using here is basically of starch so the mass the given mass of starch we have is of 25 gram or uh, you're just given starch and you just measure its mass okay and you get 25 gram whichever way and the volume you find of the starch is basically uh, 50 ml so that is bulk volume so bulk volume you write the formula uh, bulk density is equal to mass over bulk volume 25 over 50 and you get 0. Uh, 5 uh, gram per uh, milliliter now the units are gram because the mass and milliliter the volume so gram per milliliter and uh, the mass of uh, okay, now we're gonna find the tapped uh, density it's basically by tapping the volume in the graduated cylinder and that's the only difference and it comes out to be 37.5 milliliter now you can see the difference in bulk we had the volume up to 50 milliliter and this is 37.5 percent so it basically re reduce like 12 milliliters were basically occupied by air or other substances like mostly air so we reduced that much and the density we got was a mass divided by tapped volume and it turned out to be 0 0.67 now you can see the density of tapped is more because density is basically we're finding how much of mass is uh, present in a unit volume or a unit mass present in a volume and so when we reduce the air spaces more mass will be present in the unit volume so a tab density is more so that's why we say that the density of the given sample is uh, of starch is basically 0 0.67 so in this lecture basically we're trying to calculate tap density but we're also discussing bulk density from the starch that we discussed previous that we just discussed now so that's it for densities i hope you guys understood this lecture if you have any questions you can ask in the comments and please make sure to support and subscribe this channel and thank you